Hey, what's up? Whoa, really? Dude, that's fucking crazy. Uh-huh. Yeah? Uh, so, anyway, let's talk about my project, actually. A few months back, uh, Terran from Country Craft and Aryan from Atelier AG separately got in touch and floated the idea of a collab video. Fast forward to January of this year, we all got together and started this little project. We decided to each pick a detail from this painting. Uh, being Saul and the Witch of Endor, a painting by a Dutch painter, uh, Jacob Cornelis, and uh, yeah, kind of sculpt our favorite bit from there. Now, I'm pretty sure everyone in this collab uh, will have told you some fantastic stuff about this painting and the art of doodling little demons. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. While I'm going to be sculpting uh, this little guy, which I do find cute, I'm going to talk to you about my feelings on this painting. There's a, a truly transcendentally fantastic bit in this uh, Noah Caldwell Gervais video about the history of American nuclear programs and it's about these petroglyphs in Parowan Gap in Utah. Uh, he talks about how alien they feel, how far detached he is from the time these were carved, that it's basically impossible to relate to the people who made them. And while yeah the painting we're basing our work on here is much more recent than the ancient petroglyphs he drives by, I kind of feel something similar, I think. I was never a, a medieval history nerd, and I wasn't raised in a religious family, so it doesn't really surprise me that I would bounce off of what it was essentially intended as a, an anti-reformist propaganda piece, with a reference to a Bible thing so obscure it couldn't even make it to one of the downbrown novels nobody's read. Painted by a guy whose whole shtick was ripping off Albrecht Dürer for a living. While mulling this thing over in my head, the one thing that kept coming back was Hellboy. Uh, a book with tons of weird little demon guys, but this is uh, kind of Dutch symbolism and Hellboy is I guess you'd call it like neo-gothic, which is kind of fitting, right? Uh, Hellboy and gothic lit in general is all about a, a revisionist vision of these remnants, uh, recasting them as now mythical haunted ruins that loom over us without ever really being able to grasp their supposed past glory. Hellboy walks around spooky castles with magical curses, and he never quite understands what's going on, but he is bathed in that haunted juice, I guess. Damn, they really should make a Hellboy survival horror game. That's a much more, uh, dare I say it, relatable way uh, to look at this period for me, as a sort of specter of what might as well be a different world. One where the haha -ha funny little guy in the corner snowballed into the gates of hell opening in Europe in one of the bloodiest conflicts in history. It's a weird artifact that, even with all the historical context I could glean, will forever be kind of unreachable to me. You might be wondering why then did I participate in this project if I felt like this about the painting. And the answer is that I think it's kind of a dead end to just make art that depicts the stuff you like and find joy in. It's fine to have complicated feelings about a piece of art and to want to make more art about those complicated feelings. It's basically what I'm doing with this video. Oh, also I'm doing it for clout. I did like making a little bird, I'm probably going to make more birds in the future. Anyway, I chucked him in the mail and sent him off to Mr. Conjurecraft's house for painting, basing, uh, putting LEDs into him, uh, 
3D scanning him, recasting him, uh, doing uh, a head swap. I I've not seen what he's done with uh, the sculpt yet. It's a couple weeks after I've sculpted the guy and uh, look at what turned up in the mail. This thing is amazing. Uh, I don't say this lightly, it's incredible. I am super happy to have one of Aryan Skulls in my house. Uh, I look at it every day, it makes me smile every day. I love this thing. And he also sent me uh, a bunch of awesome little extra goodies in the package too. Uh, thanks a lot, man. Uh, do you remember when I was talking about my feelings on this painting? Of course you do, don't actually answer that. Anyway, that was a genius way to prime you on what I'm gonna do with this model. Like I said, I really love what Aryan did here, so I want to do my best to do something interesting with it, and something that matches the gothic mood that I'm in. I got this kit of uh, street workers from mini art, and took some time putting them together. The plan is to use Aryan Sculpt as a statue in the middle of a street. I was originally uh, just going to put it on a plinth and paint it that way, but as soon as I saw uh, that plastic kit, I knew what I had to do. My feelings about the original painting made it so that I wanted to change the context of the figure. The idea for the street scene came pretty quick as a result of the plinth looking like a pedestal for the statue. I wanted to put that beauty that Iron got from the painting into a context that I would relate to, that I would vibe with. While these two guys work in the background, they look away from the statue. That is probably gonna be a little more than just a huge piece of bronze. They're missing, or perhaps willfully ignoring, the magic that remains in their little corner of the world. Those sinister remains of the past boiling up to the surface, while the darkness of their own time renders them blind to it. This kind of collaborative work is really something that I would encourage you to seek out, just as a fun thing to do with your friends. I find it very comfy in a way, and it's kind of why I enjoy my day jobs as an assistant director or an editor. Someone has a film project and I'm here to make that ID real, uh, to tweak things, change the framing a bit, and all the while keeping the original intact. It's fun, and that's what I wanted to do with Aryan Sculpt here. And unlike the other two videos in this collab, you're not gonna see me uh, painting this in this particular video. I actually really want to push myself and take this little diorama to Scale Ball Challenge, a, a huge competition in October of this year. So I can't show you what it'll be painted like, but I can kind of give you an idea of the composition. This was a, a video about inspiration, uh, in a way, I guess. And I'm really happy to say that Aryan Sculpt like, inspired me a lot. I want to do a bunch of stuff with it. It's fair to say you're going to see more of that project on the channel in the future. Hopefully, you'll see me taking it to SMC and I'll do a little vlog or something. It'll be fun. For this video, I uh, dove back into the Hellboy comics, as you've probably guessed already. I find uh, Magnolia's urban scenes very memorable. They have something quite magical about them. So, I hope the kind of mise en scène of this last part of the episode kind of gave that vibe off to you. If you would like to see the model I painted, uh, you can go check out uh, Terran's channel at uh, Conjured Craft. And if you would like to see Aryan sculpt this awesome model, well, you can go check out his channel, Atelier AG, where the video will be. Oh, and one final thing before I go. If you keep an eye out on my Instagram in the coming days, you might see uh, something that looks like a release of one of my miniatures. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that. Don't worry, there'll be other printings. I just, if you want one of the first ones and want to support me that way, 
that'd be cool uh anyway thanks everyone for uh tuning in uh subscribing uh, clicking the buttons uh, sacrificing your firstborn to me you know all the stuff you usually do uh i'll see you in the next one where i i don't know uh review every episode of deep space nine <laughs>